Well, and then just first of all, um, obviously really, really proud of our guys, um, the way they, they fought tonight and, uh, and just the way they handled themselves the last three weeks, you know, with all our bold practices. We, you know, we told the guys, listen, we want to make this a fun experience for you guys. We want to have fun practices. Um, we want you, we want to do some things together as a football team. And we were able to do that. And we grew closer as a football team the last three weeks. And I think, I think that's very important. I think a lot of times that goes unnoticed. But when you when you really have a good camaraderie and good chemistry as a football team, then you tend to do better things on a football field, particularly when you face adversity. Just like tonight, we got down 14 points um, early in the game, um, and, and the kids didn't flinch. I mean, they kept playing, kept battling. You know, next thing you know, you're right back in the game. And, and then, you know, we grabbed that momentum and then, and then you know, we poured it on. So, but I'm really proud of our staff this year. You know, when I told our team, when we came into this thing last December, January, you know, from where our team was then and what they were able to accomplish this year, big credit to our staff, uh, being consistent every single day. And we've had some days that hadn't been easy. I mean, we, we worked these guys really, really hard at times. And they're like, you know, what are we doing? You know, and, but, it, but it's, when you have a season like this, you win eight games, um, you overcome so much, but no one thought we were going to win any games this year, pick dead last in our conference this year. Um, all the things that we've been able to accomplish, but it just goes to show you when you have a belief in one another and you focus on the team and not an individual, then great things can happen. So um, I'm really, really excited and proud to, to be a part of this team and to finish this season the way we did with eight wins and you know to be a, a Mississippi State team and, you know, of course, you know, coming back off, of, uh, we had a tough loss in Kentucky, you know, and, and having to be able to bounce back um, against Mississippi State was tremendous for us. And obviously, we'll use this momentum as we head in the offseason. Coach, I know you didn't recruit these seniors, but they meant a lot to the turnaround of this program. What was it like when Kane gets a scoop and score? Devontae Pete's first touchdown in yeah. years. It was awesome. What was it nice? What was it like to see all those seniors have make so many big plays? Yeah, you know, and, and, and the seniors have been, had it rough. You know, we got 27 of them that are, that are done. and. Out of that 27, you know, probably 12 guys probably played significant. You know, the other guys really don't play a whole lot. And so I told the guys in the team meeting last night, I said, listen, there's going to be some guys tomorrow that maybe haven't played as much as they wanted to play this year, but you're going to make big plays tomorrow. Pete was one of those guys. It was crazy, man. I, I said, you're going to make catch a touchdown pass. You know, and sure enough, he caught a touchdown pass today. I think Bronco said the first one since 2015. So, you know, Boosie, uh, Boosie made a big sack tonight. You know, just, just those seniors. Um, I'm so proud of them to stick it out because it has not been easy for them. It, it's, it's hard for them. We, I told the team, too, we had 22 scholarship players that could have been on this team this year. For one reason or another, during the offseason, decided, you know, other things. 22, that's a whole signing class, you know. And so what these guys have had to do, the guys that stuck it out with us, um, it's so rewarding for them um, to be able to come in here and, and finish it off with a big-time bowl win right now. And um, I'm so proud of these guys, and particularly these seniors. But I'm excited for the young guys, the guys that will be coming back, so we can build off of this and this off season as we head throughout that and into next season. So this momentum, you know, is going to be huge for us. Can you talk about the momentum swing that you're down 14 now and then you score 31 in a row? Yeah, you know, I, I really it's hard to go back and hash the game, but you know, I just know that you know we've been down before, and our guys have us with it. We just kept, we just keep playing. You just play the next play. That is what we tell our guys: play the next play, and then. And then, you know, some things, good things are going to happen. So we were able to get the ball back. Obviously, you go score. I think one of the probably the turning points of the game was uh, Tutu's play uh, where he threw the touchdown pass. That was a huge play for us. So it's a play that we've had on the call sheet for probably the last five games, just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, that was a great momentum grabber right there. I, I tell you, our guys had a lot of juice tonight on the sideline. It, guys on the field, you know, emotional at times probably, in the first half particularly, um, you know, with some of the calls, we didn't feel went our way, but um, we know. So, but I love that emotion. You know, so at halftime, we said, "Listen, guys, take all that emotion, emotion, and channel it to each other. Um, we're not talking to the other team. We're not. We can't control anything that happens with the referees. You know, focusing on each other." And that third quarter, man, it was awesome. We came out in that third quarter fired up. Our guys played. Um, you know, and then we felt at that point, man, we're going to win this football game. Okay, uh, your first start this season was against Western Kentucky in the same stadium. Uh, where do you think has been your biggest area of improvement since that day in September? I was going to for just a second. Gentlemen, when you answer the questions, if you could speak into the mic, that would be great. Thank you. Is there a question again, please? Uh, your first start of the season was against Western Kentucky in mid-September. Uh, where do you think you've made the biggest stride since that start? Oh, I would say definitely in the passing game, being able to trust my receivers and uh, my old line giving me a uh, significant time back there to get, get the ball in our playmaker's hand. Sir, too, um, you broke the uh, single season receiving yards record tonight. Uh, can you put in your own words what doing that means for you? Uh, it, just, it just feels great. Uh, I've been doing 
research and see how many y'all I need. And I told Malik, hey man, don't let me know I'm grab it. Come to me, I got it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it just feels great, man. Scott, how much do you think your team speeds, particularly at the skill positions, really helped you guys out tonight? It seemed like it was tough for them to kind of handle yeah. a lot of your guys. Yeah, you know, one of the things coming in this game, we're a little concerned about their size. You know, that's a long team, you know, lengthwise, and they got a lot of good size on that team. Um, you know, so that's a little bit concerning. We're not as big up front, really, as you talk about O-line, D-line. Um, we do have significant speed, um, you know, a lot of positions, you know, two of them, three of them sitting right up here. Um, but, you know, we, what we've tried to do all year, we've had big plays offensively, try to get the ball to 2-2 two -two and, and Dez and, uh, and Hassan Hall and Hawkins. Cunningham, you know, all these guys that can really run. So we're trying to create space for them and let them allow them to run. Um, and that's how we've lived on, we've lived on big plays this year. Um, you know, Hawkins, I think, went over 1,500 yards rushing this year, which is incredible. Um, you know, of course, 2-2 breaking a record, receiving. I mean, that's what you want. You've you, you got an offense that can run the ball and throw it, you're hard to defend. Um, we also utilize our tight ends. You know, Marshawn Ford, a freshman this year, that had a tremendous year for us, called another touchdown pass tonight. Um, you know, caught yeah, two, he caught two. That's right, yours and the other one. That's right, yeah. So, <coughs> man, he's got about seven or eight on the year. Seven, yeah, which is tremendous for him. You know, he's a guy that was a walk on. We put on scholarship last fall, I mean, last spring. He's a freshman this year. So, we got some good young players um, that we love uh, the way they can run. We're trying to utilize that speed. There's no question about it. Kane, was that third quarter? Coach talked about the juice and the momentum. Was that as as well as you've played in a quarter as a team this year? You th you feel like? Yeah, I think that's probably the worst we played as a team. We we attacked the whole game. I mean, the whole quarter. We ain't have no misassignments. You know, everybody did their job, and and then what it led to. Take, take us through your play, and how big were your eyes when that ball popped right to you? So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what we've been practicing on all week. I mean, the whole set, pro preparation. We've been we've been scooping and scoring all film, pro preparation. And, and the time came, my eyes, I took my eyes to the ball, put my pinks together, scooped it, and I took it to the pocket. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. When that ball would bounce to you any more perfectly, though? It couldn't bounce more perfectly. <laughs> I actually don't even, I don't think I kept my eyes on it too long. It, it bounced right in my hand. So <laughs> perfect bounce. Mikhail, you guys went nuts on the side, or the guys did when, when Devontae scored. What has he meant? being the special teams guy and the guy that's been here for, for five years and for him to get a touchdown. I mean, I've been on peace since high school, like 10th grade, and he just played, he just has so much passion, so much love, just knowing where he come from, I mean, <clears throat> that background he come from. And it's just it's just crazy to see Pete make plays like that because we actually talked about it, like, the whole time we knew he was going to play tonight, like, Lee, Lee, I need one, I need one. I'm like, I got you, I got you. And that play finally came for him, just happy for him. Mikhail, um, to Mikhail and Tutu as well, just what have these seniors that They've meant a lot to this program, but for you guys going to next year, what do you take away from what they've meant and what have you learned from them this year? I mean, we've learned a lot. <clears throat> well, this team is so close and our bond, like, you, you don't see one without the other, like, for real. And it just, um, just like Kane, I've been doing Kane since high school. I mean, it just took us on our, under their wings and um, they led us in the right way. Uh, I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like since Coach Satterfield and Kane and Coach Mike them, I feel like all of us and the receivers, and DBs and everybody came in as a family, and we just got that built that brotherhood. Because I know last year we had a bad season, and we didn't really go that good because everybody was in different places. So I feel like this season we had came together as a team. Were well, the seniors pretty key in keeping you guys close like that as well? Oh yeah, most definitely. <clears throat> Kane, when you guys lost Dorian, it it seemed like. It, everything went up a level as far as the energy and, and the way you guys did. Just talk about after losing him and, and kind of TJ coming in and stepping up. When we lost Dorian, we knew, well, TJ knew he had, he, had, he had some big shoes to fill and he knew we needed him. So we, we tried to keep him motivated and keep his confidence high. So they, they, they played out well. Coach, you uh, mentioned that you guys had a trick flag on the play sheet uh -huh. uh, for several games. Now, what made you guys want to use it at that moment in this game? Well, number one, it's the last game, so you got to get off the call sheet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so we, I actually the play before that, I said we get some yards here, we're gonna call it, you know. And um, you know, we really want to kind of get plus forty midfield, kind of right in that that range right there. And uh, and just and we did something good to happen, and we felt like that was gonna be a play where we could score on, um, you know. And it just executed perfectly. Uh, great throw, great good catch by my forward, and. Um, you know, so it's just, you know, certain plays, I think, that we, that we practice that you don't get to every game. And you said, listen, we got to get these off the call sheet, make sure. So that's a great time for it. Coach, how much did Chris Max comment about going for the ball on the motivation to talk 
Uh, yeah, he was probably key in that, you know, was to write these plays down. And, uh, he, he, it was ironic, you know, we talked about that, you know, we, we love going for the bomb. If you, if you go back and look at our season this year, we've thrown a lot of those, right, Tutu? <laughs> yeah, so uh, the reason why he broke the record, you know. But, uh, no, we want to throw the ball down the field. There's no question about it. When teams suck up on our running game, it allows us to get the ball down the field. So we've been a big play offense all season, and uh, it's been fun to watch from the sideline. I got the best here in the house. Coach, yeah, I just, I just, there, was, there was a home game last year when you didn't play in front of this many little fans maybe, and, and there's been so much about redemption this year and coming back. And, how appropriate was it you guys to come with 14 down in front of that many fans and y'all went to lose? Oh, everybody, all of us? Yeah, or any of them. <clears throat> I mean, we knew that uh, us being down 14 wasn't really nothing. We've been down 21 before and came back from it. So we just uh, brought everybody together and just uh, stayed level-headed and um, you see what happened. I gotta say this, it was like before the game, I, I turned around and looked and I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys remember, we, the last five games has been rain games, you know, so it's kind of hurt the attendance a little bit. But that, that was like a home game for us, yeah. I felt like. I mean, I looked turn around, it was all red, you know, all the way up in the upper deck. Yeah. They were loud, you know, like when our defense had third downs, they were getting into it. Um, it was tremendous um, to see that kind of spirit and, uh, you know, the, the life of that, that stadium right there with a bunch of Cardinal fans. And, you know, it reminded me of back really the Notre Dame game when we had a packed house in our first game right there. So, you know, we feed off of that. We certainly, we know that. <laughs> We can't do it without those fans, and you know we can look forward to get back on that field next year and let pack that house out of Cardinal Stadium. Coach, Scott, how, how much can a winner like this propel you into the into the future? Well, I mean, you know, all wins help, obviously. You know, I think because because recruits, you look at recruiting, they want to be a part of a program that wins, you know, and then they want to be a part of a program that has fun. One of the things we want to do this year, man, we want to have fun. You, I ask these players, we've had a lot of fun this year. Um, you know, in the locker room, you know, on the practice field, whatever it may be, we're trying to have fun, but when it's time to work, our guys work. And so, and then you win games like this, you know, we want these former, our future players to want to come in here and be a part of this. You know, we start school back, which is crazy, we start back next week. I wish we, I could give the guys off a week, but I really can't. They got to be back there next week. But we're going to have probably over 20 newcomers that are going to be a part of our team starting next week. And so, and then as you look at recruiting 2021 down the road, that's what it does for programs. You know, wins like this and seasons like this, it just propels you, it gains you momentum. So you just keep bringing in players like these right guys right here, great players and great people. Coach, you mentioned the future. This defense, big bounce back performance out of Kentucky. Yeah. How much has that helped them confidence-wise from Illinois going into next season? Yeah, I mean, well, listen, you got to think, the last three weeks, all they've been hurt, hurt, not only hurt on defense, how bad they were, you know? It's like, you know, when you keep hearing that crap, man, you're going to go out and do something about it, right? And that's what they did. They practiced well, like like Kane said. They, you know, the, the drills they were working on, the tackle drills every day, and um, and then making out, you know, those kind of plays they did, like he scored tonight. I think back to the Western Kentucky game, our defense scored, uh, Rajay scored on that. Should have scored again tonight. Shouldn't he? Yeah. Again, one write his numbers. You missed. But um, but yeah, twice we scored in the stadium. But you you know you used to talk about somebody like that. Our guys took it personal, and so they did a great job tonight. You know, held uh, that you know running back. You know, I think that maybe got dinged early, but came back and played. But I mean, we we held these guys in check in the rushing game. Um, I was so proud of our defense the way they played, flying around. We're getting sacks. Uh, it was fun to watch. Really fun to watch. And then. Um, I think probably, probably our most complete game, really, as you look about, as you look at offense, defense, getting every, all of it, probably our most complete game. It's only finished our last game. That's the way it should be. Gentlemen, uh, I'm sorry, we've got to wrap up. Uh, thank you very much.